Hey, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I'm exhausted. And I don't have any coffee. Um, I went to the store yesterday and didn't buy any coffee. Uh, so I might have some tea. But right now, I'm having some La Crook. Just so I could get some juices flowing here. Um, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about kind of like some of the my, my passion and drive at the minute. <clears throat> um, like some of you have been um, kind of noticing the large amount of poetry that's been going on on this channel and with me personally on my website and um, social media and stuff like that. And um, there is um, a couple huge reasons for this. And um, the first one being, um, I'm actually going to read something I wrote here. Um, it's not that long, don't worry. This is actually called Poetry. Poetry is bullshit. When we realize this, it may mean something. That's it. Um, and the idea here is that um, most poetry and most poets and um, kind of just the way people look at poetry is um, just shit. Like, I understand completely that um, there is a long flowered history of the poetic form and um, things of the such. And there are some people who are very, like, have very strong feelings about what poetry is and what it should look like and um, how it should be presented. <clears throat> and are very quick to judge um, poetry that doesn't fit into their box. And um, that's always upset me because I feel like poetry is kind of like the last art form in which a writer can um, completely express themselves without uh, judgment um, on their feelings. And um, that's not what a lot of people think poetry is. That's not what a lot of people um, push for. And it's really sad. And I have been meeting lots of poets lately and talking with them. And there seems to be this... Um, I don't want to say pretentiousness, but I don't know a better word. Maybe there isn't a better word for it. But there is just something that really makes someone from the outside looking in like feel like, like why the fuck would they ever want to be a part of that community, you know? Um... 
like it seems like it's very open and very inclusive but there is there's something else with it that's just like mm. and when i hear these people talk to one another <clears throat> about their poetry and the stuff they're doing a lot of the words used um, are not the right words. So they want to um, find better words. And I got into a conversation with a guy. And we, we were talking about the difference between trusting your gut and like heavy editing and rewriting and stuff like that. And I'm of the opinion that whatever you write when you write it, that is your gut. Okay? That is the deepest form of you and then when you go back and pick different words like pick bigger words pick more obscure words to replace words that you put in there when you were feeling it um, it makes me feel like when you do that you're not doing that for yourself you're doing that for the acceptance of others. And, um, it was a very pleasant conversation and the guy is super talented. Um, but I think we just disagree on this bit right here. And so it just made me start thinking about all of the different forms of poetry and like the forms were put together by somebody and then universities taught those forms and taught people that this is how you're supposed to put stuff together in order for this to be considered poetry. And if you do it the right way, it will be considered great. And if you're amazing at it, it will be considered an immortal poem because the professor and the professor's colleagues have all decided that this is what things are and this is what things mean based on a form set up by somebody else <clears throat> um and to me that isn't right that's not poetry that's like um mimicking you know that's like parodying what should be what should be and that's not right and um, I don't agree with that. Um, it takes your voice. It takes your soul. Like, um, and I don't understand why this sounds like such a uh, ridiculous, far out idea. Um, it, it it just boggles my mind. So, um. That's kind of, <clears throat> I guess, my philosophy on poetry. And um, if you're watching this and you've read my stuff and you're like, oh, no, 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 that's, that's more journaling. That's like journalism. That's like um, just flash fiction broken down different. You could call it whatever you want. I really don't care. Um, I... Here, here's an example. E.E. E. Cummings um, wrote this piece about like advice to students, um, and one of the things he said was so profound to me, and it was like, when you're a poet, you have to write with your feelings and 
that has, and I'm paraphrasing, and that is how you have to see everything. It's not just seeing things and observing them and then writing them down. It is um, feeling it. And then he says, like, I know you think you feel things, and I'm sure um, you've talked about feeling things, but that's different from actually feeling things. You know, you... It, it just like the whole concept of <clears throat> writing from feelings. And what he was saying was that it's really difficult and it takes you like your entire life to be able to figure this out. And when I read poets... There are beautiful words being used, beautiful lines being strewn together. But a lot of times they are so fucking obtuse that most people on like a first read would have no fucking idea what the fuck they're talking about. And then some of you are saying, but yeah, that's the beauty of it. You get to like use your imagination to decide what the poet is saying and it's like or the poet could just fucking say what the fuck he means the poet could say what he feels the poet can fucking just say what's what and not be so up his own ass and full of shit like it's like I like to say all the time form is dead you know, um, like, people aren't running around speaking to each other in Latin anymore, you know, like, form and poetry is dead to me. Now, that's not saying that there are people who love form and stick by it and, like, really can make it work for them. That's great. Like, like, I'm all for that. But to me, form is dead. And um, I want poetry that is written by feeling simply, concisely, conveys exactly what the poet is thinking, what the poet is feeling. And... Um, have that change my life when I read it, you know. Um, to me, that's the most important thing. And um, this is going into a little bit of a plug here, so prepare. But so the course I'm do teaching, um, the Poetic Anarchy course, um, it's a four-week course starts on June 22nd. There's five spots left. Um, there will be a link down below to where you could, like, look into it and find out more about it. Um, but let's say, like, you don't want to know more about it and you're done. Okay, cool. That part of this is over. Let's just continue this talk now because I'm still, like, upset about it. It's like... Um, Like, it, to me, like, I don't care if you've never written anything before. If you've never wanted to write a single poem or story in your entire life. If you can be real, if you can take your emotions and your feelings and transpose those into words on a page simply and concisely and get across exactly your anguish, your pain, your love, whatever it may be. Um, if you could do that, you're a poet, do it. Like, there are tons of poets out there who can't fucking do that. 
who rely on alliteration and, um, like, metaphors of metaphors of metaphors to where you don't even know what the fuck they're talking about anymore. You know, like, um, and I'm not saying any of this stuff to take anything away from them. Um, but I'm saying, like, it's so obtuse. Like, like, what is, you, if you are a poet and you're watching this, what is your goal as a poet? Like, is your goal to get accolades from academics? Like, is that what you're looking to do? Then, yeah. Put as many words in there as you can. Um, use as many different shades of red when you're describing something red. You know, like, use them all. Like, get out your Crayola 64 crayon box and pull out all the reddish-looking things and use all of those words. That's fantastic. Um... And I'm not trying to sound like super condescending here. I'm really not. It's just it. Um, it it hurts, dude. Like I just want to read feeling, and if you are not able to convey your feeling to me, then you are whittling your audience down more and more and more. And um, people shouldn't have to take a poetic studies course at university to be able to read and enjoy poetry. Like, poetry is so fucking simple. Like, it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be difficult. Like, the... Uh, I don't know. I could... I could go on a long time. This is something that, that I'm very passionate about. It hurts my heart. I want to um, really just shake people, you know, when things are the way they are, I guess. So anyway, <clears throat> the last bit here is um, tomorrow, Saturday the 5th. At 6 o'clock Pacific, I'm doing a live stream where um, I'm going to be um, reading a bunch of my poetry and revealing my new chapbook. Um, so if that's something uh, you are interested in, um, definitely um, swing by, set a reminder for it. Um, there's links for it in my community tab. Um so you'll be able to see it there. Um, but yeah, just like, just listen to your gut and write from your heart and um, don't overthink it. It's not fucking rocket science. We're not building ships to the moon, people. We're just fucking expressing our emotions. That's it. Um, so anyway... Um, I hope you all are well, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow night, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.